Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have yet another makeup organization slash declutter of lip products. This is part two of part one. Um, if you didn't see part one, I will link it down below. Part one was mostly, it was all just drugstore lippies, lip glosses, um, lipsticks, everything. Drugstore was in that video. This video is kind of a mishmash of things. So I'm going to have some lip liners, um, some high-end lipsticks, a couple more like drugstore lip products. And yeah, I just have like a total mishmash, some liquid lipsticks. So just a mishmash of everything in this video. Um, I am going to swatch everything. So yeah, this is going to be a long video. Okay, so we are going to start in this little rack of lipsticks first. Um, all of my lipsticks in here are mostly like higher end, like MAC. I have, obviously I have a lot of MAC. Um, I have some Bobbi Brown, La Rock, Urban Decay, like different things in here. Um, so these are kind of like my most worn lipsticks too. I like a good creamy lipstick. So um, I'm gonna first go through all of the MAC lipsticks First. Okay, so I actually just went through the first row of all those MAC lipsticks. Um, so this one is Impassioned, Flamingo, Girl About Town, Lovelorn, Cream Cup, Angel, Well Loved, and Creme de Nude. So out of all these, I'm actually going to get rid of this shade right here, Flamingo. I just don't wear it. It doesn't look good on me. Um, this one I thought about getting rid of. But I'm just not ready to part with it yet. I think once in a while I will wear it. Um, and since I have it, I'm going to keep it. I love Love Lauren Cream Cup and um, Angel. Those three right there are like my favorite pinks. Um, well Loved, I do like. Um, and Creme de Nude, I like to mix with other lipsticks to kind of like give them a more nudey kind of toned down look. So I actually use these kind of two to mix with other ones, but I rarely, I rarely wear um, Flamingo right here. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And this is Flamingo if you wanted to see what it looked like in the tube. Um, so it's just like a light coral. It just does not look good on me. It's too, makes my teeth look really yellow and I'm just not a fan of it. So I am going to get rid of that one. Okay, so we're going to go through the second row now, which is pretty much all MAC, except for this one Lorac lipstick, which I'll swatch too. Okay, so this one is the Lorac Alter Ego Lipstick in CEO. I love the shade. It's such a pretty one for fall. Um, the rest are MAC. So this is MAC Diva, Rebel, um, this one's Twig, Faux, Syrup, um, this one's blankety and then kind of sexy. So out of all these, I really do wear all of them. Um, I love Rebel and I love the formula of that one. Um, Syrup is probably one of my most worn. Blankety is probably like my staple nude. Um, and the other ones I really wear a lot as well. So I am... Unfortunately, I'm going to keep all of these. I know it's this is really hard, guys. I only got rid of one MAC one, but I really do wear all these. I probably wear MAC lipsticks the most, so yeah, I'm going to keep all these. All right, and then the last row here is kind of just a mixture of a bunch of them. Um, I will say I probably won't get rid of any of these as well. I might get rid of this one, um, but these are, again, like my most worn. That's why they're in this case, so I'm probably going to keep all these, but I will swatch them. Okay, so this is Urban Decay Rapture. This is um, Bobbi Brown Pink Beige, which is like one of my favorites. I love the shade. Um, this is the Bobbi Brown Pink Blossom that I might get rid of because it smells funny. Um, and then this is Bite Beauty Vouvre. This is, what is this? This is Tarte Angelic Nude. This one is Too Faced La Creme Lipstick in Nude Beach. This one is NARS Audacious Lipstick in Raquel. And then this is the YSL Rouge Volupt in number one. So all these, like I said, I wear them pretty much all the time. I think I am going to get rid of that one because I smelt it. It smells pretty bad. Um, so I think I'm just going to get rid of that one. But all the other ones I love. All right, in this case, I have all of my lip liners. As you can see, I don't have like a ton, a ton. Um, and I kind of use all of these. So I am going to keep all my lip liners just because I actually use all these. Um, 
and I kind of rotate them through. So I will, I'm not gonna swatch them, I'm just gonna tell you what they are. You can look up swatches, I'm sure there's tons out there, but I really do love all these lip liners. So I have the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 3C. This is one of my favorites and my go-tos. It's really, really waterproof. Um, and then I also have the It Cosmetics Your Lips But Better, and this is in Buff Nude. This is a great, nude lip liner. Um, I have the NYX Retractable Lip Liner. This is one of their waterproof ones. This is in the shade Nude. Um, it's actually very, very similar to the uh, Makeup Forever one. They're very, very similar. Um, and then I have this NYX Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Fuchsia. Um, I actually really like this one because if I'm wearing a bolder, brighter lip. This just kind of goes with it, and I can kind of even get away with red sometimes. And when I'm wearing a bolder lip like this, I need a lip, uh, a lip liner because my lips just like bleed lipstick everywhere, so I need a lip liner. Um, I use MAC Whirl like all the time. This is like a staple. Um, this is the NYX Lip Liner Pencil in Nude Pink. It's just a good nude pink color. Um, I have the No Bleeding Lips Liner, um, Lips Lip Liner, kind of talk. Um, this is just a clear lip liner. I love this one. Again, for bold colors, I need a lip liner. Otherwise, I can't wear a bold lip. Um, and then this is just one of the Sephora Nano ones. Um, it's the perfect shade for Max Rebel, so that's why I keep it around. And it's in the shade Passion Plum, so... Yeah, so those are my lip liners. These are the new um, Bite Beauty Muse Boucher lipsticks that I just got, and I swatched these in my favorites video and a couple other videos, so I'm not gonna like talk about these anymore. I have the shade Pepper, Beetroot, and Gazpacho. I am going to keep these because they're just great lipsticks. I'm really, really impressed with the formula, so I am going to keep these, and you can look at my other videos for swatches. I'll try to link it down below. So in this container, I have a bunch of different lipsticks. Um, I'm gonna try to group them together and show you guys a couple at a time. There's glosses, there's liquid lipsticks, there's just like a bunch of random stuff. I don't know how to organize this anymore. I'm gonna try to figure out another method, um, but yeah, I'm gonna go through and swatch everything. So I have three, only three of the ColourPop lippy sticks. I'd love to get more of these because I love them and they're only five dollars. The formula is so creamy. Um, so I have the shades. This is Oh Snap. The next one is Lumiere, and the last one is Tootsie. I love all three of these. They're so unique. Lumiere is so gorgeous, and Oh Snap is just like a perfect brown nude. Um, so yeah, I love all these. They're great, great lipsticks for only $5. All right, we're going to do a handful of these uh, lip glosses. I am not going to swatch this one. This is the Dior um, Lip Maximizer. This is the Dior Addict. Um, it's like the collagen one. I am obsessed with this. It's just like a a pinky clear gloss it's nothing like crazy or special but the formula is just absolutely amazing and there's no way I'm ever getting rid of this and if I ever run out it's going to be repurchased okay so these are my glasses this is a buxom white Russian this one is the bare minerals buttercream lip gloss and forbidden nude this one is NARS Chelsea girls lip gloss this is, what is this? Oh, this is the Naked Lip Gloss in Nooner. This is like my favorite. Um, all these, all four of these are literally always in my purse. Um, and then this is the Buxom Lip Gloss in Dolly. And then this is the Makeup Forever Lab Shine in S4. I actually don't ever wear this one. I really don't like it. Um, and I don't like that it has like a bunch of chunky glitter in it. So I think I'm going to get rid of that one. This one I don't wear as often, but I'm halfway done with it and I'm like bound. I'm like determined to finish it. And it is a pretty color. Um, and I do like the color, so I am going to finish that one. But these four are never leaving me. I love these lip glosses. So I'm going to get rid of that Makeup Forever one. I have four of the ColourPop Ultra Matte. They're like li liquid lipstick. So I will swatch these and I'll tell you which ones I'm going to keep. All right, so I have... The shades Midi, um, this is the shade Shimmy, Seesaw, and then Beeper. And I think it's so weird, like these three are so much different than Beeper in formula. These are so, so drying, like they're literally drying out my arm right now, they're so dry. Um, but this one's a little more moussey and a little bit more wearable. Um, 
God, I don't want to get rid of these, but I think I might just get rid of Seesaw because I just don't wear that color. So I think I'm just going to get rid of Seesaw, maybe Shimmy too. Hmm. I'm going to actually lip swatch Shimmy. I'm going to see, this is going to be in my maybe pile. I'm going to get rid of Seesaw. I'm going to keep Midi because it's just a really pretty nude and Beeper is really, really awesome. Okay, a couple more like random liquid lipstick type products here. I have a NYX Liquid Suede, I have a Sephora Cream Lip Stain, and then I have a Rimmel Show Off um, Lip Lacquer. Okay, so this is the NYX Liquid Suede in Soft Spoken, the Sephora Lip Cream in Marvelous Mauve, and then that Rimmel Show Off Lacquer is in the shade Slash Wool. So I never wear this. I don't like the color. It's just like a bit too rosy, pinky warm, like peachy warm. It's just like, it doesn't look good on me. Um, it almost pulls like a little bit orange on my lips or just too warm. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. And these two colors are really pretty. I actually just picked this one up and I love the formula. And I really wanna pick up other ones in um, this line. So I am gonna keep these two, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Okay, now we're getting into like mishmashes of things. So I have like a couple of these NARS lip pencils. I have a Little Bite Beauty Duo lipstick and then I have these like stick kind of lipsticks, one from Lorac and one from e.l.f. So I'll swatch all these. Okay, so this is the Lorac Pro Matte. Oh gosh, look at my hands and my nails. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, this is the Lorac Lip Pencil in Pink Taupe. I love the shade. This is the e.l.f. Lip, I don't know what it's called. Um, it just says natural on it. Like that's like the shade or whatever. Um, so I don't know the shade. I really apologize. Um, and then these are the three NARS lip pencils. This is some name that I cannot pronounce. It starts with an R. This is Cruella. And then this one is New Lover. And I think I'm going to get rid of that New Lover. I can tell you right away. I'd never wear it. Um, and then this is the Bite Beauty Lip Duo. That's Musk and Retsina. And I'm not getting rid of those because of Retsina. I love that shade. Um, so I am going to get rid of that one. I think I might get rid of this one too. I just don't wear them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get rid of those two and I'm going to keep the rest. Okay, some more random lip glosses that are like mini size. Um, this is the Bobbi Brown High Shimmer Lip Gloss in Bear Sparkle. Um, I've never even used this, guys. I haven't even touched it. So I think I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, and this is the Clinique Super Balm Moisturizing Gloss. And this is in the shade black honey and I love this. This is such a pretty gloss. It's so unique and different and it looks like straight up like black purple in the tube but when it goes on it's like a very soft berry color. So I am going to keep these and these are really moisturizing. So I'm going to keep that one and then the other one is the Bite Beauty um, Sea Shade Honey. This is like their lip gloss. Um, I do not like this. I don't like the shade. It has a lot of chunky shimmer in it, so I am going to get rid of this one. Okay, more random lipstick. I don't even know the brand of these. Okay, this is obviously Bare Minerals. This is an Urban Decay one. This is a... I don't even know. What is this? No idea. Oh, Makeup Forever. <laughs> Makeup Forever, and then this is a Estee Lauder one. So... Let's swatch them and see. Okay, so this is the Estee Lauder one in Boys Stay Rose. This is the Bare Minerals in Get Ready. This is the Urban Decay in 69. And then this last one is the Makeup Forever in, let me check the number, N9. Um, so, oh my gosh, I haven't even, I didn't even know I had this one and it's so pretty. So I'm gonna keep that one. Um, I've actually used this little red one quite a bit. Um, I might get rid of it though because I, I don't know, maybe I'll keep it. I'm going to swatch it against maybe Gazpacho or some other red lipsticks and see because I don't have very many red lipsticks at all. Um, this one's pretty but I've never worn it um, and same with this one. I literally have never, I've worn only this one out of all these. That's bad. I think I'm going to get rid of the Estee Lauder one and that one. I'm going to get rid of those two. Okay, this is a little Smashbox liquid like lipstick and I'm actually not going to open this and swatch it because I've never even opened it or swatched it. It's in the shade Coral and I can already tell that it's just too warm. Like it's just not going to look good on me. I already know this shade just doesn't look good on me so I'm going to pass this along and I've never even 
worn it. It's just like a mini one, but I've literally never even opened it. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Then I have this Julep, it's called a pout pencil in the shade Almond Nude Cream. And it has this like white part. I've worn it a couple times, but I just don't love it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to like it. It's just it's okay. It's pretty generic. It's like a good nude color. Um, but I just, I won't wear it. It's been sitting there forever and I just haven't touched it. So I'm going to get rid of it. Okay. So that's it. We finished. We are done. I didn't get rid of too much, but I don't keep too many lip products that I don't like, but I did find some that were hidden and I haven't touched. So we're good to go. All right, so that is it for part two of my makeup organization and declutter for my lip products. Um, I am going to be doing a nail polish declutter. A couple people requested it, so I am going to be doing that. I have so much nail polish to get rid of. Like, there's so much excess in that drawer. And honestly, it's on my bottom drawer right now, and my little guy keeps getting into it. I had to like turn my Ikea organization type thing, which you'll see in this video, um, because he keeps getting into my makeup. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!